What's up everyone and thank you for stopping by the channel. Today's project is this echo trimmer and the problem is that the pull rope is stuck and it won't move. Let's take a good look at it, find out what's wrong with it and hopefully we can fix it. In this video we try and repair this trimmer, however it may not be the exact repair that you need to make to yours. We'll explore other options later in the video. Now this trimmer is only two years old and was not used commercially so I don't think it's broken and as you can see it's in great shape with very little wear so I don't think it's been abused either. In fact it's been in a garden shed unused for several months and the last time they tried to use it the pull rope didn't want to work so the problem could either be the engine is locked up or the recoil assembly is jammed. If you find yourself in the same situation try not to use too much force otherwise you might damage something rather costly. The first thing I want to check is the recoil assembly. Now there are several bolts and screws that hold it to the engine and some of the bolts had thread locker on them so they were very difficult to remove without using a power tool so I'll switch over to one here in a minute. I will say that this recoil design is very robust and meant to last a long time. Now this trimmer is very clean and almost spotless but what I found around the muffler is a thick sticky oily residue more than likely coming out of the muffler. I'm pretty sure this is the fuel leaking from the carburetor into the engine and out of the exhaust. I'll have to leave some fuel in the tank and see if there's a leak later on. So here's the recoil assembly and if you pull on the rope you can see it works just fine. No binding at all and it works very smoothly. That means the problem is with the engine. Now if I try to turn the engine, it's definitely stuck, so next I'll remove the spark plug and take a look inside the engine. So here's the spark plug, and it's not wet with fuel or oil, just a bit of carbon on it. Now with it gone, I still can't turn the engine, so that means it's not hydro-locked with fuel. That must mean that the engine is physically locked in place. Now if we take a look inside, it's a bit hard to show on camera, but there's more of that sticky residue inside the engine. This could possibly be the reason why this engine is stuck. I need to get rid of this residue first, so I'm going to use some carburetor cleaner to try to break it up. Even after using all that carburetor cleaner on the engine, it's still stuck, so this time I'm going to spray some WD-40 into the engine. Then I'll try rocking the engine a bit till it breaks free. Now that I know it's just sticky varnish keeping the engine from spinning, I don't have an issue using some leverage to help me free it up. Now that I know that the engine is free, I want to check to make sure the spark arrestor screen isn't clogged with carbon. If it is clogged, the engine won't be able to work properly and it won't allow the engine to get up to full speed. If it's clogged, I'll clean off the carbon and reinstall it. And fortunately, it's not clogged, but while I'm here, I'm going to remove the muffler and look at the side of the piston and ring for any signs of wear. So here's the exhaust port where the muffler was and I can see the side of the piston and the ring. Now if I rotate the engine by pulling on the rope I can see the entire piston and it's pretty clear that there is no damage to it so I'll put everything back on and then try out the recoil. Now if there was damage to the side of the piston and the ring then there's a good chance that there might not be enough compression for the engine to even start. Usually most people don't ever try and rebuild it due to the cost of parts and labor. Now another reason why this engine might be stuck is that the trimmer might have been left outside in the rain for a long period of time. Fortunately that isn't the case here. Now if you do leave a trimmer outside for whatever reason, at least cover the engine with a plastic bag.
As you can see, the recoil now spins the engine over like it's supposed to. I'm going to put some gas into the tank and then try starting it. I will let you know that I did not let the engine dry out from all the carburetor cleaner and WD-40 I used on it, so starting it might be a bit of a pain. Now the air filter was still usable but it's going to need to be changed out at some point. I did leave fuel in the tank for a while to see if it leaked into the engine but it didn't so I can only guess that the problem was a storage issue. More than likely the trimmer was put up in a shed with a full tank of fuel during an extremely hot summer. If you have to put some equipment up for more than a month I would consider at least emptying the fuel tank. If you have to leave fuel in the tank try using pre-mixed fuel from a can which will store much better. So my question is, has this ever happened to you before? Have you put a piece of equipment away for a few months and then went to get it out, only to find out the engine is stuck in place and won't budge? Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time here. Please feel free to ask any questions, and I hope to see you in my next video.